Hi guys, uh, welcome back to another video. Um, I just thought I'd uh, just do a quick um, vid on the two helmets that I've been using uh, recently. Um, I've said in uh, some of my other videos that I've, I've just not got around to doing it. I have recently purchased a new helmet which is um, this Shuey Glamster. Um, it's a bit of an embarrassing name but I can assure you that the, um, the helmet is uh, very good. Um, it's not as good as I hoped it was going to be for the price, um, but saying that, I, I think I probably still would buy it again. Um, so I'll just give you a quick rundown of the one I've been using prior to that, and I've been using this one for four years. Um, so this one is uh, the HJC IS17. Now, I don't think um, that they make these anymore. Um, they've been replaced um, now with the... Uh, I think it's the i70, so that's supposed to be an upgraded version of uh, this one. Um, the reason I went for this one when I first started riding was it had a five star um, sharp rating, um, and it only cost 170 pounds uh, when I, you know, when I first bought it. I think they had gone up a little bit after that. Um, so it's been a really comfy helmet, um, and I, I quite liked that the the inner lining was a different colour. It's a bit of a blue, so blue on black is always good for me. Um, I quite I quite like that, and the actual lining of the helmet itself, um, yeah, it was really quite comfy and, and nice, and it always felt quite snug. And it did come with a, a chin curtain as well, um, which you can take off optionally if you want to. Um, the thing that's pushed me in, in recent times though to uh, change this helmet is the fact that the uh, clip here broke on my last visor. Um, I was just riding down the road and all of a sudden I heard a ping and felt something bounce off the petrol tank, hit me on the arm I think and uh, and I, when, I, when I first looked I wasn't quite sure what it was and when I got home this black bit here was missing. Um, and I don't know, hopefully you'll be able to see this if I can focus in just enough. Um, there is a big crack just running down there. I'll take some photos because I don't think this camera is going to focus in so well on that. But um, on the back of this tab there's a, a small screw that holds essentially this, this tab on to the visor itself. Um, and that's what causes all the issues because it, it starts cracking through the visor itself and through this tab and um, sooner or later this one is going to break off um, as well so um, and I think when I bought my visor last time I think it was about 40 or 45 quid and I just thought do you know what I'm, I'm just not going to keep buying um, a new visor every time that breaks because it seems to be a design flaw um, on this particular helmet and it was a shame um, because I did like this helmet but since um, I've been looking around there were two helmets that came to mind that I wanted to try um, and one was the Shuey and one was the Arai Rapide now bearing in mind that this one um, is there you go one and a half kilos so it's 1500 grams and um, that's quite a hefty helmet it's not probably one of the heaviest ones you'll find but it's getting up there and it is quite big really I think it's a bit of a bobblehead helmet um, if I just put this shoey next to that and uh, hopefully you can sort of see the difference in size um, of those two um, in comparison I think this shoey is a lot smaller and actually I think just let me have a look yeah, this Shuey is only, um, well, helmet alone, it says 1,165 grams and with optional parts, which I guess is the pin lock. Um, like there's nothing else to go on there other than a chin curtain. Um, let's see if I can focus in on that. Um, yeah, it's 1,200 grams. So you've got like a 300 to 350 gram saving uh, on just the weight alone. Um, and, and the actual size of the helmet is uh, a lot smaller. Um, now, this clip does work differently and it's a bit awkward because it's on the left hand side, but you essentially have to push it and push forward at the same time. So you, you're sort of sliding it across. Now I have noticed, and again, you won't probably be able to see that well, um, but there is a small screw in there that is holding that clip. Saying that the visor does seem quite sturdy and it's a lot thicker 
than the <laughs> HJC, um, and I'm hoping it will it will last. And so you just if you need to remove it, it's just easy enough. You just undo those two screws either side, and it just pops off. Um, the only thing with this helmet is the lack of ventilation. I mean, it's a little um, brow vent there, and there are some vents on the side that push the air through past your cheek pieces, and it sort of comes out around the back of your neck, which is quite nice in the summer. Um, the liner itself um, is all very nice and padded. Um, again, what drew me to this one over the Awai um, Rapide Neo was that the Awai was a much bigger helmet, so it's on par with the HJC um, and what they've done is just bunged loads and loads and loads of padding in it um, just to make it fit smaller heads so you still end up looking a bit like a bobblehead whereas this Chewy they've actually got I think three different sized shells so you've got uh, extra small and small medium and large and extra large and extra extra large so I take a small in this one so I've got the smallest shell available on this particular helmet and wearing it it just feels like a normal size helmet do you know what I mean it's, I don't feel like I've got a massive uh, space helmet on at all so that is um, a fairly short video but that is my new helmet the Shuey Glamster I will give you updates if uh, I find out there's any issues with it um, but at the moment I'm, I'm quite pleased with it you would have seen I've done my sound check with my little mic and stuff uh, in fact you'll probably just see the little dead cat in there I'm still tinkering around with that trying to see if I can get it fixed in a bit better but for now it seems to be working quite well um, so yeah I will give you some updates I'll put a link in I think the helmets it was probably £409 for these basic colours if you want any of the nice shiny ones with some designs on them they can go up to anywhere up to about 509 pounds i think so i just quite like the black my, my other one was black i've gone for a gloss and um, polishes up but you've got to watch your fingerprints on that i guess um and all around uh, yeah i'm quite quite pleased with that so i shall see you all again soon take care